Hey, my name is Andy Mandel. I'm the team lead here of the Mandel team at eXp Realty, and I am so glad that you came to this webinar. So today we wanna go over our buyer strategy guide and show you exactly what it is that we do to help buyers just like you find properties and hopefully find them off market to help you avoid bidding wars and just walk you through the entire buying process so you're informed about how this is all gonna work. So the first thing we wanna show you is if you ever wanna look up our reviews, you can go to www.mandelteamreviews.com. If you work with an agent on our team, you'll be asked after the transaction to leave a review. Hopefully we've earned a five-star review just like hundreds of other people who we've worked with in the past have left us. Uh, but feel free, if you go to mandelteamreviews.com, it'll take you to our website where you can see every review that has auto-populated from both Zillow and Google. Um, if you wanna look us up, you can do your homework, do your research, um, you can look me up, Andy Mandel, on Zillow. Um, and if you Google us, uh, you'll see we have you know 340 reviews on Zillow. We have over 111 on Google. So feel free to look us up. But hopefully, if you work with our team, we've earned a five-star review by the time we're done. But they're all there. It's very important that our potential future clients see what our past clients have to say. And we're very proud of our reviews. Um, so feel free. They're all there. So when you work with an agent on the Mandel team, we have access to, or we give you access to our exclusive buyer VIP programs. So there's a lot of changes in this industry. Starting in July of 2024, you as a buyer are gonna to have to sign a contract. You're gonna to have to pick an, a real estate agent that you wanna work with. Agents are no longer gonna be allowed to show any property, including open houses, without having some sort of agreement signed with that agent, uh, with that buyer. So that's just how the, the industry is gonna change and it's gonna start working in July. So we wanna show you what it is that we do to earn your business. Sellers, when they pick an agent, you know they do their homework, they do their research, they interview, and you know they pick an agent and they sign an exclusive contract. So this isn't anything wild and crazy, but it is what's gonna be required. So let us show you what it is that we do, what we offer you if you work with any agent on the Mandel team. So first, we have a love it or leave it guarantee. We want you to absolutely love where you live. We are not pushy salespeople just trying to get another sale. We want you to love the home. So you're never going to feel pressured by us to buy the wrong home. If for any reason during the first 12 months, you don't absolutely love the home that you're in, we're going to sell it for free with no listing commission. So um, we want you to love the home. Otherwise, you know, we're working for free on the next round. We also offer you a free appraisal if you work with our preferred lender. So the way this works, you do have to pay it out of your pocket when the appraisal happens. But at closing, that lender does credit you back the cost of the appraisal, which typically runs somewhere between $600 and $1,200, depending on the size of the property. So that's substantial savings for you as a buyer. We also offer a buy before you sell program. One of the major problems and hurdles in this business is that people don't know how to navigate. Oh, I own a home now. I want to upgrade. I want to downsize. How do I do I buy first? Do I sell first? What do I do? Usually, if you do have to sell before you buy, it makes it difficult because now your offer is contingent, which significantly weakens your offer, or you put your home on the market and now it's under contract and you're rushed to buy a property because you got to do it in a certain time frame. So maybe you risk buying the wrong property, something you just don't love, or you don't get the absolute best deal. You're just rushed and you wish you had better, more time to, to handle this. We take this away, off of your plate. So we have a buy before you sell prog program. The way that that works, we work with a company that's able to unlock up to 80% of the equity in your home. So hypothetically for round numbers, you have a million dollar home. They can give you up to $800,000 minus whatever you owe on your mortgage. So if you have a $500,000 mortgage, they can give you 300,000, the difference between 500 and 800. You can take that 300,000, use that as your down payment towards the, the, the next property. Once you find the property and now you're not rushed, you can take your time, find the right property, you find it, you buy, you close, you then list your property and you can take all the rest of the equity that's in that property when it sells and you can put it towards your mortgage that on the new property. And we do what's called a re-amortization. So that's gonna drop the, the amount of money that you owe on the property. It's not just making a big you know, a lump sum payment and you're gonna have a higher payment. It will drop the balance that you owe on this property. They re-amortize it. And so your payments will drop as if you put all that money from the equity from your sale towards the purchase from the beginning. So this is a great way to help you navigate that. What do I do first? Do I buy? Do I sell? I don't want to be rushed and buy the wrong property. We take that away from you as well. We also have a simple sale program for those people who maybe your house needs a little bit of work or you just don't want to deal with the hassle of listing and showing and open houses and all that. So we have investors that are lined up that are ready to buy your house if you want to avoid the hassle of the traditional listing route. With that being said, the caveat is 
you're not getting full market value on this. We can bring you an offer. And if it makes sense for you, you can take it. And that's great. Or we can show you that offer and then show you what your house is worth on the market. And you know, you get to make the decision as the seller on what route is best for you. But we have these opportunities and these op options with our investor clients. So uh, the main reason why we're here today, we want to talk about our secret seller program and how we're able to help find homes for buyers that other agents, you know, versus what other agents are just doing. So every agent is going to put you in a search in the MLS. Realistically, most of the houses that people are buying come from that. They're people, they're sellers that put their home on the MLS. They expressed interest in selling the property and that's where buyers find property. But most agents stop there. They don't do anything other than put you in an MLS search to send you properties that you could have already seen on Zillow or realtor.com. You know, you want an agent who's going to work for you to try to find you off market properties that other agents don't have access to and other buyers don't have access to, to help you avoid those bidding wars. So we give you access to a program through our brokerage called EXP exclusives. So we work with EXP Realty. That's where you know, our brokerage, we are, EXP is the number one brokerage in America as far as the number of transactions in 2023. So our company has more agents. We did more transactions and we were number three in the country for sales volume. So we're one of the biggest uh, broker, we're the biggest brokerage as far as number of agents and transactions. We do a lot of deals within our company. So the benefit of this program, and it's a new, uh, and this is a new platform for us at EXP, but we're able to market our listings to our entire brokerage before anyone else gets a chance to see them. So the reason why this is good, EXP is one company across all 50 states. Unlike, and I worked for a different brokerage for you know 11 years before I moved over to EXP Realty. Um, if you go to, let's say, a Remax or a Keller Williams or a Caldwell Banker, there's nothing inherently wrong with those companies, but each office is a franchise, uh, especially if it's an independent office of, you know, a, a not franchise company, they're able to market their listings internally to just their office before they hit the market. So you might have access to maybe 10 or 12 other people listings, you know, a couple dozen other agents listings before they hit the market with EXP exclusives. I'll show you, you know, across the entire country, look how many properties we have. And this is a brand new pro, uh, platform. So as I'm showing you this, this is maybe a couple of weeks old. This is only going to get better as more and more agents start putting their listings on here on EXP exclusives. So in Florida, you can see right now we have a hundred and, you know, uh, almost 200 of these, pro 160 of these properties. That's a lot of properties that nobody else has access to. You cannot see these on Zillow or realtor.com. So wouldn't you like to have access to these kind of properties? You can by working with our team. We're also going to every canceled, expired, and withdrawn listing over the last three years and saying, okay, who are the sellers who put their home on the market? They couldn't sell for whatever reason. You know, maybe the price was wrong at the time, a circumstance changed, and they took their home off the market. Whatever reason it was, we're going into the MLS and we're saying, okay, show me all the properties that listed over the last three years but didn't sell and that match your, your criteria as our buyer. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, price range, neighborhoods, whatever that criteria is, we're finding these listings and then we're going to them and we are door knocking. We're sending direct mail. We're calling you know, we're doing everything we can to get in front of these people and say, hey, we have a real buyer who would be potentially interested in buying your property. Would you still consider selling? They raised their hand at one point and wanted to sell, but we're going above and beyond actively marketing this database of off-market listings, trying to find you properties as our client. We also have a list of pre foreclosures and likely sellers. I'll get into that in a second, but we're also talking to four sell by owners and home flippers. Flippers are a great source of potential off market listings. They're, you know, people who maybe are in the process of fixing up a house that matches your exact criteria and it's just not on the market yet because it's not finished. We know a lot of the flippers and we have access to a database of flippers. So we're actively reaching out to them and telling them the, you know, the buyers that we have and what they're looking for. And they're letting us know the kind of listings that they might have that would be a match for. Let's go to this pre foreclosures and this likely sellers list. So I want to show you something. So this is a platform that we have and we can come here and we can say, okay, this really only works if you can really narrow down to the neighborhood level, or it works a lot better if you can na narrow down to the neighborhood level, exactly what you want. If you're you know, between Broward and Palm beach County for a four bedroom house in a certain price range, this really doesn't work. But if you know exactly what you're looking for, we can come in and say, okay, who are our most likely sellers? So um, we can say, okay, are they maybe absentee owners, people who own a property, but it's not their primary residence. It's a rental property. Uh, they're people who own a property free and clear. They don't have a mortgage pre foreclosure. So anyone who has 
a notice of default on their property. They missed a payment or two. You know, there's no guarantee that they can't catch up and that they, uh, you know, they have to sell. But this is a potential list of likely homeowners. So we can narrow it down to, hey, what neighborhoods, what areas do you really want to be in? And again, we're calling, we're emailing, we're door knocking, we're sending direct mail to these people, telling them we have a real buyer for their property and trying to get them to allow you to see it and, and navigate and negotiate an off-market deal. Uh, what else do we have here? Downsizers, people who might consider selling and, and you know buying a smaller property. They have equity of at least 30% of the home value. Now, I can put in any of these criteria. They're over 55 and over. Um, you know, it's not actively listed for sale. It's not in foreclosure. We have access to all of these kind of lists and we can, you know, narrow down as, as narrow as you want. So hypothetically, we can come here to circle just any, any neighborhood we want. So I can come and I can go draw a polygon and it's loading. So I can draw a polygon. and put any criteria that I want for these 664 properties. And I can say, okay, these are the properties that would be a good match for our potential buyers based on what they're looking for. And again, getting their phone number, call, text, email, direct mail, door knock, doing what we can to get these people to let them know we have real buyers for your property and see if they're you know thinking about selling. Our job is to find you know any off-market opportunity that you can't find on the MLS, they haven't raised their hand officially with any other realtor, this will help you avoid the bidding wars, you know, uh, hopefully save some money, and just get access to exclusive properties that nobody else has access to. It's always nice to have something that's, that not everyone else has. So why should you use our team? Well, a team always outperforms the individual. Our team is fully trained. They have extensive market experience. When you work with us, we have a full-time transaction coordinator who takes everything from contract to close. So dots our I's, crosses our T's, make sure that our deals go smooth from contract to close so the agents can focus on doing this kind of marketing and helping the next buyer or seller get into the next property. And you know you have a dedicated transaction coordinator making sure you have a smooth transaction. All of our agents are full-time. We know the top producers and people know us. So you know it sounds corny, but people would prefer, a good agent would prefer to work with another good agent who they know. So it does help us get our offers accepted just because people know who we are. They know that we have a history of our deals closing. We're gonna go over our offer submission strategy in a second to show you what we do to make sure you're in the best position as a buyer to get your offer accepted. And because we're all full-time and we have showing agents, we can get you into any property that's available, obviously pending the seller's availability, seven days a week. You'll never be, we will never be too busy to show you whatever property you want to see at whatever time you want to see it. We have showing agents available to show you anything you want to see. And we keep you updated on everything that's going on with your property. Make sure you know all the listings that are for sale in your neighborhood. You're keeping up to date on you know, market trends and, and your, your home's value after the sale closes. So our team was the number eight team in the state of Florida uh, last year for the number of homes sold, the number 27 team in Florida for sales volume. And I say that not to impress you, but to impress upon you that we're full-time active agents. This is what we do every single day. It's not a weekend business, a side hustle. This is what we do. We got the experience and, and you know, if you don't mind me saying so, we're damn good at it. So let's talk about the timeline of buying a house. Phase one is the preparation. So you're going to pick an agent and you're going to have to sign a buyer agreement with that agent. That's just the new laws, the new rules starting in July of 2024. You're going to have to sign an agreement with an agent the same way a seller would have to sign a listing agreement with an agent. You're signing an agreement saying this is the agent that I'm working with and this is the compensation that you know we're willing to offer that agent. It's negotiable. You're going to negotiate it with your agent and we're going to do everything in our power to get the seller to pay for that commission. Uh, we're going to review the home buying process, which is kind of what we're doing now. Talk about all your non-negotiables, set up your search, get you pre-approved for a mortgage with the best lenders that we can get you with. Um, and then we're going to talk about our offer strategy, which again, we're kind of doing right now. So the next phase, we're going to set up your listing alerts, look online. We're going to find off-market properties or search for off-market properties and opportunities for you. We're going to tour homes. You're going to fall in love and you're going to write an offer. When it's time to write an offer in phase three, we're going to talk about market conditions because every neighborhood, every city is a little different. Some, some neighborhoods are really up and coming and they're appreciating. Some are a lot more steady and some neighborhoods have declining prices. And we're going to make sure we know about that before we write an offer so we can write a compelling offer and make sure we're getting you the best price and terms.
So we're going to write the offer, negotiate all the details, get it signed off. Then you meet our transaction coordinator, turn in your earnest money deposit. We get your home inspection. You get insurance. We make sure you get your appraisal. You get your mortgage approved if you're getting a mortgage. We'll do your final walkthrough right before closing. And then it's closing day. You close. So that is the timeline of buying a house. And now let's go into a little bit more detail about that. So a buyer's agent versus a listing agent. The listing agent represents the seller. They have a fiduciary obligation to get the seller the absolute best price and terms. We represent both buyers and sellers separately as clients. So there's normally two you know, different realtors involved. We're going to make sure that your interests are protected as a buyer. That listing agent is going to make sure they're going to eat your lunch if you go directly to the listing agent. They represent the seller and they're going to make sure the seller gets a better deal than you. You want to have someone representing you. If you were being sued, you wouldn't want to have the person suing you's attorney also represent you. That, does, that doesn't make sense. So our strategy, our job is to make sure we can formulate an offer strategy and put you in the best position so that when we present your offer, it gets accepted. So we're going to prevent you from overpaying, increase the likelihood of getting your offer accepted, and just put you in the best possible position so that whatever home you want to buy, you're getting it at the price that you want to pay and the terms that you're comfortable with. And we as agents need to be able to articulate to the listing agent why your offer and why you are a strong buyer. If your agent lacks communication skills, if they're not aggressive enough, it's going to make it hard to get your offer accepted. So that's one of the things that we specialize in. Now, the perfect offer is no loan. They're not getting financing. You're not getting appraisal. So it's a cash offer. There's no home sale contingency, a five-day inspection, and you're, you're giving the seller whatever preferred closing date they want. So our job is to make your offer as close to that as possible in a perfect world. By being able to do that, if the offer, if the house is competitive and there's multiple offers, yours is going to stand out. It's going to be the one that gets accepted or it has a higher, a much higher likelihood of getting accepted. And you're probably going to be able to get the home at a better price and terms than the person who has the home sale contingency. And, you know, they want a, a two week inspection period. They have all these contingencies. We're going to make sure that we can get those contingencies out of the way up front. So it takes a little legwork. But if you work with our recommended vendors, so inspection companies, mortgage companies, insurance and title, we can make sure that you're fully protected and they're doing all the things that need to happen in the time frames that they need to happen in to make your offer stand out and to actually be able to perform and do these things and, and you know be the perfect buyer with the perfect offer so starts with the mortgage the lender is extremely important that you use you don't want to just pick any random online lender that you found from from googling lowest interest rate lenders low interest rates are important and we have our lender is you know, has the lowest rates that you're going to find, but they also are able to close on time, which is really important. So a lot of buyers want to go to the bank or their credit union. They don't necessarily have to disclose what they're making on the loan. Um, so if you don't shop around, you don't know if you're really getting a big de a good deal. They only offer products that they offer. So they're not shopping around to get you the best deal. They're only able to offer you the products that they offer. We've seen it so many times that the big banks, especially, they put additional what are called overlays. So higher levels of, of rules on who they give mortgages to. So, you know, if you're not putting down 20%, maybe they don't want to give you the loan. Maybe, you know, you would be allowed to go up to a 45% debt to income ratio, but they're only approving people up to 36%, meaning you, it makes it much harder for you to get the loan. A lot of these lenders, they're not working nights and weekends when your offers need to be, you know, when you're submitting offers on client, on properties. So, you know, if you need an updated pre-approval letter or something like that, and they don't answer their phone, you have a really high likelihood of losing out on that property. And we don't want to see that for you. Finally, a lot of these banks are taking 30 plus days to, to close or to get a loan approval. That really makes your offer so much weaker. You want it. I can't stress this enough. The lender who you work with really, really matters. These banks, they just don't care. They're too big. You don't really matter to them as far as a mortgage. So using a local mortgage broker, they're going to shop around and get you the absolute best rate in town. Our lender is giving you wholesale rates. When you Google, you know, average mortgage rates in America today, the lender who we normally recommend, his rates are normally, give or take, 0.3, maybe a little bit more um, better than the average rate in America. So he's able to get you a substantially lower rate, which is going to help you save on your monthly payment. Um, they only have to meet the minimum the minimum federal standards, so they're not putting additional overlays. You know, whatever the legal requirements are to get a mortgage, that's all you have to meet. They make it as easy as possible to get a mortgage, but you do still have to qualify, obviously. Um, you know exactly what they're making because the compensation's on the closing statement. They've done thousands of loans. The lender who we work with is the number one lender in Broward County. 
He obviously does did, uh, business in Palm Beach County too, but he was last year the number one lender in Broward County. And he can close your loan in eight to 12 days if needed, not always, but if needed. So that makes your offer look a lot stronger versus uh, we need 30 to 45 days to find out if we're getting this mortgage or not. That makes your offer weak. Um, and if something goes wrong, they're going to do absolutely everything in his power um, to make sure your loan funds on time. So pre-qualification versus a fully underwritten pre-approval. This is how we're able to do it. If you go into a lot of the big banks, they're going to ask you what you make. They're going to ask you some basic questions. Maybe they check your credit and they're going to give you a pre-qualification, which says based on what you're telling us and what we can see, you know, based on your credit score, you're pre-qualified for this loan. But they didn't really check any of these documents that are needed up front. So they still need a 30 day loan approval to be able to um, you know, do their underwriting and do all their due diligence to tell you whether or not you're going to get the loan up, up or not. The lenders, who, the lenders who we recommend are going to fully underwrite you up front. So you're not just pre-qualified or even pre-approved. Your loan is fully approved. The underwriter is the one who actually makes the decision on whether or not you're going to get the mortgage. So why not have that person look at all the stuff up front? It's a little bit more work on your end uh, as the buyer to provide those documents but you're gonna to need to provide them one way or the other. You might as well provide them up front. It will give you so much more peace of mind knowing that your loan is already approved and you're able to write a stronger offer. You can write it as cash, even though you're getting a mortgage. So it's going to allow you to compete with the investors and the hedge funds who are also writing cash offers and they can close in, in you know two weeks or less if necessary again, which makes you very competitive with a cash offer. Closing costs, so we're just gonna go over this real quick. Sellers and buyers both have closing costs. So sellers are gonna have a transfer tax, which is typically called doc stamps here in Florida. That's 70 cents for every $100 of value. If it's in Palm Beach County, they're paying for title insurance, tax and lien search, title search, estoppel searches. Um, commissions typically come from the seller side. And if there's any HOA dues or, or you know past uh, liens or anything like that from the association, those they're responsible to be paid for by the seller. As a buyer, you're going to have to pay for your inspection out of pocket. So that's going to run you somewhere between 500 to a little over a thousand dollars, depending on the kind of property that you're buying and how many inspections that you're doing. You know, if you're doing extra mold inspections and things like that, it's going to you know go up a little bit. Um, you're also going to pay for all your lender fees. So that's the appraisal, the credit report, loan origination fees, if there's any prepaid interest, things like that. There's recording fees to record your deed, to record your mortgage when you close. Um, a title company is going to charge you somewhere between 600 to a thousand bucks to do your closing. You're paying for title insurance if it's in Broward or Palm Beach County, uh, lenders title insurance if you're getting a mortgage, then you're paying your homeowner's insurance up front. So all of these fees is going to be roughly somewhere between three to four percent of the purchase price. And you can ask the seller to pay for those or you know try to roll it into the mortgage in some way. If the property appraises higher than your purchase price, you're, uh, you have a lot more wiggle room to be able to do that. But these are fees that the seller can pay for you like on your behalf as a buyer. You just have to know that if you're asking the seller to pay for your fees, it does weaken your offer a little bit, but it, it is possible. So timelines in this contract. Once the contract gets accepted, you're going to have somewhere between one to three days to submit your deposit to the title company. Now it's negotiable, but the, the amount of money that we see for escrow is usually somewhere between three and 10% of the purchase price that goes towards your down payment. So If you're putting down, you know, 5% total and you put 3% in escrow, you only have to bring 2% plus your closing costs at closing. It's paid to the title company, not to the seller. So it's completely safe. It's protected. And again, it goes towards your total down payment. Then you have your inspection period, all the contracts in Florida, or at least in our part of Florida are as is with the right to inspect. So what that means for you as a buyer, you have, uh, you can back out for any reason whatsoever during your inspection period. The shorter you make your inspection, the more appealing your offer is. Our inspectors, we said it's important, you know, the agent you work with matters and the companies you work with matter. Our inspectors can get out there within 24 to 48 hours and they make sure that you have that, that inspection report the exact same day. If you need, usually it's within an hour of them leaving the property, you get a report. It's normally 80 pages long. That's totally normal. It's got pictures of everything in the house, the ages of everything. So you know, hey, is this house in good shape or not? It allows you to negotiate anything that you might need to negotiate. Um, but you can back out. If you're just not happy with the deal, you change your mind, you wake up on the last day of your inspection period and it's raining and you say, I don't want to buy the house anymore. You're out of the contract. All we have to do is put in writing to the seller that you are backing out of the contract during your inspection period, any money you put into escrow is completely refunded to you. So it's completely safe. 
After that, you have your loan approval period. So again, this is negotiable for the contract. The default, if you left it blank in the contract, is 30 days. But we're trying to, to shorten that as much as possible to make your offer stand out. So if we can make that you know, in line with your inspection period, somewhere between 5 to 10 days, you can get your appraisal done during that time. You'll know within 7 to 10 days, your loan is completely done, the property appraised, uh, it, you know, so you're not overpaying for the property. Um, and your your loan is done. At that point, it's just a waiting game for closing. So after the inspection, you're going to have, like I said, a full list. It's going to be 80 plus pages of pictures and everything you need to know about the property. We check permits before we go into that property. So you're never going to, uh, our job is to make sure that we're not wasting your money. If you could have or should have known that that roof is 35 years old, and now the seller is not willing to replace it and whatever it is, you should have known that going into the uh, into the deal. So we're gonna make sure we're looking at those uh, permits before you go under contract so you know what permits were pulled, when were they pulled, what were they pulled for, and you have a basic understanding. But the inspector is also gonna check those permits. A typical inspection, somewhere between two to three hours, depending on the size of the property, maybe a little bit less if it's a condo. You can show up at the end if you'd like. We recommend you don't sit there the entire time, although you're more than welcome to. We recommend come to the end, you know, speak to the inspector before he leaves, you should have him him or her show you whatever you know showed up in that inspection report so you get a full comprehensive understanding of what's going on in that property. Sometimes the way things are written in inspection reports, it can scare you. Um, so sometimes it's just better to hear it from the inspector and see it firsthand to know, is this a big deal or not? You're going to get the report the same day. And there's going to be a couple different categories. There'll be what we consider a honeydew item. So just, you know, minor things that are cosmetic and insignificant, like an outdated kitchen or bathrooms. You know, the house needs to get repainted or, you know, the flooring is a little warped. Those are things that are cosmetic and obviously should have been factored into the price. But don't, you don't go back to a seller and say, we want you to give us a credit for $40,000 because the kitchen is original after they accepted your offer. That should have been negotiated ahead of time. Then there are things that are curable. So things that are relatively big issues, but you can get credits for them or the seller can fix them. So, you know, the AC is at the end of its life. There's some electrical issues or you need a new electrical panel. You can negotiate anything after you do your inspections during your inspection period. The way that we normally recommend it is have the seller give you as the buyer a credit towards closing costs. What this does, it frees up the money that you would have been bringing to closing anyway. And now you as the buyer can get whatever work that needs to get done done after closing. The reason why we like this method better, it, it's a little bit cleaner. Also, the seller is going to be incentivized to do things as cheaply and quickly as they possibly can. You as the buyer probably want it done correctly. So you might want to make sure that you get to choose the electrician, the AC person, the, the whatever it is. Um, but you can ask for credits for anything. You can take care of anything at closing. And that's the way we normally recommend doing it. Then, obviously, there's going to be the major items. So, hey, the roof is way past its age. You know, there's foundation issues. There's cast iron piping or polybutylene plumbing, things like that that you know, maybe weren't readily available to, to be seen when you saw the property. And then it's up to you as the buyer to determine, is this something that you want to move forward with or not? So those are big red flag things. Most things in, the, in an inspection can be dealt with either they can be fixed by the, the seller, they can fix small leaks, whatever it is, or they can give you a credit as the buyer to fix those things after closing. Contingency timeline. So after the inspections, like we talked about, you have your uh, ability to request repairs and you know credits and things like that. You have until the end of your inspection period to negotiate something or to back out or to get a signed extension by all parties, giving you more time to do more homework, to get quotes on things, whatever it may be. Closings are typically 30 to 45 days from the date that everyone agrees and accepts the contract, but it's all negotiated per the contract. Right before the closing, you as the buyer are going to do a final walkthrough. So the seller has an as-is maintenance requirement. So that means the property on the day of closing has to be in the same condition it was in when you bought the property and when you did your inspection. So it prevents them from taking the refrigerator and swapping it out with a different one or banging things up on the way out the door. You do your final walkthrough. You make sure you're in. You know, you're happy with the condition of the property, and everything is exactly the way that you're expecting it. Otherwise, we deal with it then. Very, very rarely do we see issues with that. But just know you're not forced to buy things, and the seller just can't let the property, you know, go to crap if, you know, if that's what they want to do. Most people don't do that, but you don't have to worry about that. 
Now, condos are very, very tricky in South Florida. We do a lot of extra things when it comes to condos. If you're buying a condo, you really, really, really need to make sure you're working with a good agent who knows what they're doing. So condos are just, it's, it's wildly difficult. We're making sure upfront, we're getting your application, the rules and regulations, the budget and the financials, and the minutes of the last 12 months of meetings of that association board. So here's why that's important. These, a lot of sellers, they don't go to their meetings in, in the association. They, they have no idea what's going on. Condos, if you're, put, if you're buying a condo, you're likely, because most of these condos don't have any reserves, you're gonna have to put down probably close to 20 or 25% of the purchase price. There are some condos that are better financially, but they're few and far between. So we're gonna make sure that not only do, do we, you know, we know everything about the condo, but we know what's coming down the pipe. So the reason why we get those association minutes Maybe there's an assessment now for you know some work that's done and the seller's paying it, and that's great. But if you don't read those minutes of what they're talking about doing in the future, there's no guarantee that you don't buy this house. And then you know three months after you close, we've all heard horror stories like this. There's a huge assessment for forty thousand dollars for impact windows or a new roof or concrete restoration, whatever it is. You know, we're reading those minutes to make sure we all have a full understanding of what may be coming in the future so it can be negotiated or at the bare minimum you just you know what's going on i would never want to have you have an experience where you buy a condo and you know three days later there's a huge assessment for thousands of dollars that's not fair to you as a buyer and we're doing our due diligence and our homework to make sure you're protected there so that is really the buying process we ask that if you're working with us you, know, you show up on time to to all home showings you're dealing honestly with us you give us your full commitment and in return We'll give you that, that same experience and that same commitment. We'll do everything we can to get you the absolute best deal and find you the right property. Our reviews speak for themselves. We would love to earn your business and, and interview for the job to help you buy your next property. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out right down below. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. There is a button you can click to fill out a form. You can give us all the information about the kind of property that you're looking for and pick a day and time for us to have a Zoom consultation so we can set up your search, start working, show you in person, you know, how many off-market properties might be a match for what you're looking for. So we'd love to earn that opportunity to have that meeting with you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free, you know, ask me any questions. You can, you know, DM us, whatever you need. We got your back when you're moving in South Florida.